We're gonna watch sunset chat. Take a look around this beautiful, beautiful park. I wanted to have a discussion with you today about what it takes. About what it takes. I want to start with who am I? Basic philosophy question. I think, um, I think anybody might appreciate that. And um, I'm not going to tell you who I am. I don't want to tell you my name. And for most of the people you meet in the world, you won't know your, the name of the person. And you can only retain about 200, maybe 500 names. Anyway, and I ask you, can you even name 10 painters? It doesn't matter. You'll never know my name. Or 99.99% of all history. We're all no one in history. The resolution of this blog is to inspire people to polymath to a better standard of life. It's genius. The modern standard of life is that um, we might speak for a thousand years in videos and all this data if humanity survives. We will have a thousand years, and any man can speak into it. The great void. As I said, most people can't even name ten painters. There must be a hundred thousand on Instagram alone, and more across history. I myself can name maybe thirty. 30 maybe, with time. And that shows you that it doesn't really matter. The world recognizes you in, in a grand sense. It's, it's about what you put out there and being proud of the quality that you present. To paint for life, for history, regardless of if it knows you, and maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I paint because it makes me happy. I write because it makes me happy. I make art to change the world, but I don't expect the world will listen. It hasn't so far, and it's been 10 years. I think in the future, one of the only solutions besides luck to a legacy polymath. I think that is a greater standard by which careers will exist. Those who can do many things will succeed eventually in at least one. It, it'll take years. It's taken me 10 years to get to this point. to inspire people to, to try for it though, to go for a polymath lifestyle, to choose to be educated and to learn about our world, to create for the better of it, even if you're no one and ignored like I am. And um, essential to polymath is um, schedules, to have period of time by which you, you know, organize such a standard that everything falls together. And you can either turtle race or rabbit race, take it quick, take it slow. Often what I do is I'll, I'll take it slow for a couple days and try to maintain the standard. 
that has helped me for many years to to achieve my skills and my masteries. And then some days to, to sprint, to do as much as I possibly can, while still maintaining the standard, and then to, to try the next day to maintain that standard. Maintaining standards is very important if you want to achieve The power of any one second compounding over years is one of the most powerful forces. And Einstein said compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. And with our time, we compound. And with our skills, there's interest. The time we live in is very unique, historically speaking. Any man can take to the internet and know the world, or at least speak into it, as I said, for thousands of years. At any one po point in time, the power of a second is that you can choose, you can choose to change your life. You can choose to quit smoking, to be a better person to love your neighbor, to, to commit to a skill, a friend, a parent, or another family member. As we watch the sunset, I think, reflect on the power of any one second. To be whoever you wanna be. The time we live in is very unique, uh, the singularity is approaching. It is a moment where the internet connects with our heads. And, um, it's rarely talked about online. It's probably the most world shattering thing though. beautiful sunset. Soon, in 20, 30 years, we'll have the internet in our heads. And um, the world will be a much different place. We'll be able to download books into our brains. We'll be able to watch movies in a second. And the greater potential of this is endless, infinite. Surely our imagination is. The world coming together. I believe one day soon that the governments of our world will come together and form one government and the world will live in a greater place. But with, with all this change comes extreme measures of danger just something I try to confront in my books and time. I want to say, what, what is polymath? If you do not know, polymath is the achievement of many skills, the mastery of several fields. There are famous polymaths in history like Goethe, or Da Vinci. Each mastered 12, 15 skills. Painting, architecture, science. You can look at them up. There's great documentaries about them. And they kept crazy schedules. And often it takes that. It takes a lifetime of effort to be remembered even. How many skills does it take to be a polymath? Maybe five, I think, is a good good marker. In Pax Americana, there is a lot of hope. We are rich. Even a homeless.
homeless man is richer than probably 50%, 60% of the world that they eat clean, free, eat free. They have clean water. And with all the social networks, they have great access to upward opportunity, to upward mobility. Even a person making $25,000 a year is richer than 95% of Earth. And that is still below the poverty line in most of America. It's interesting to think. There's so much hope and wealth. And we have the internet. There's so much power and the potential of any one American. This is why I want to inspire people to, to take harness of their lives. To achieve something. Make the world better, safer, more beautiful, worthwhile, friendly, loving. To really care about this beautiful place that we live in. Start with what it takes. I'll explain a little bit about my life. It's taken me 10 years to acquire some 30 skills, maybe 15 of which I'm adroit at, adept at. I have maybe 15 skills I'm content to call myself uh, semi-mastered in. I have over 2 million words in my journal. And this year alone, I have 600,000 words. I journal about 2.5 thousand words a day. Some days 13,000, some days 300. Every man is a journalist. Every journal, every private journalist from Anne Frank to the great unknown, no ones in our world are journalists, historians. And if you speak to truth, then you are respected. Then your words can be considered worthwhile to, you know, or worthy, worthy of considering, because they're honest. Even when you fail to be honest, it's a great bravery and, and standard. It's important for a journalist to always remember to be honest. I think the first step for polymath, becoming something, someone of a, a great many skill sets, is to is to organize, to journal, to in to in free time create, you know, a record, a historical record of your time and of life. It takes many years. It took me eight years to get to this point. First year, first three years, I wrote 27,000 words. Next year, I wrote maybe like 80,000. After that was like 160, then 350, then 550. And this year, halfway through the year, seven months in, I have 630,000 words. It's taken that long. To get into the schedule, so we say schedules are very important. To commit with the power of any one second to a lifetime of learning, education, and mastery. To to better appreciate the beauty of our world. What does it take? What does it take to make it? I don't know. For I've worked ten years many skills and I still cannot get but one like on most posts. That is alright, because I'm happy and content. The vlog starts with what does it take? And we'll be exploring that with um excuse me. Several understandings of um what the world is today with the internet and the greater future power potential of 
any one person. A person can design something, drop ship it, make a great deal of wealth in a matter of hours if they're good enough. But the world likes to ignore people. It's a beautiful sunset. It's definitely worthwhile to get up early and watch the sunrise and stay up late to watch the sunset. It's definitely an important part of most schedules. My current projects are painting book, my philosophy book, my gallery book on civics, my journal, my friendships, YouTube, singing, trying to recycle some music. I think recycling is really important, taking world icons and adding steeps of history to them. Really is a beautiful world. I think it takes love. I think that's what it takes. Love of life and earth. God, time, friendships, masteries, beauty. Love of the struggle and the true reality of what it takes. I think it takes happiness to truly appreciate what we do and I hope I've inspired you to to start a life of, of genius in polymath, to really go out there to really care, you know? To take the years, to dedicate yourself, to try again, to not be afraid of failure, to be honest about it. To not be, to not stigmatize trying again, and over and over and over again. To never quit. To find the real colors of a sunset.